Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Eli, also known as YRG on Twitch, coming here on Team Limit Breaks channel, and we are doing a deck profile on fifth place. Alex Michael, he managed to snag fifth place or top eight again with his Chaos Punch deck, and he's gonna take you guys through the deck, show you guys his card choices, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on this channel, but we're just bringing you top deck profiles right now, and yeah, let's get it. You want to go ahead and show the deck profile, Alex? All right. Let's start with the eggs. For eggs, I play four of the reboot Caparimon because reboot will come up more than blocker. Yep. Yep. Capri's pretty good. Tip for the eggs. Then for the rookies, I play one Karamon because I only own one. I play four Toyagumon because your reboot's really good in this deck. I play two Sunorizumon for the Digiverse because being able to recycle rookies is really good. Mm -hmm. I play three of the Stutter Deck Toyagumon for extra draw power. I play two Commandermon for the cheap two drop. I play two Galtumon because it's a blocker and okay. it's 3000 so it's really useful okay and i like Any it of... more than the agumon from oh the yeah deck. the new agumon that 1k blocker from the starter mm -hmm. deck yeah any notable yeah. cards from your level threes that you want to uh touch on more um how no, was the toy really. agumon did you draw off of that a lot sometimes it mm -hmm. matches like uh green and like matches like green where i have the board i draw a lot more mm. or against like red when they're trying to build up you get to yeah. draw a lot off toy Algamon and things yeah i assume that natural advantage from that is just really good yep then i play for champions to jamming graymon mm -hmm. jamming is really good and then i play two starter deck graymon for some more draw power Okay, uh, do you want to explain what that does? I assume Toy Agumon and that do the same thing, right? If they don't attack, you draw a card? Yep. Okay. I'd... Yeah. This one comes up less because you'll need the level 5 over. Mm -hmm. But it still comes up nonetheless. You'll be drawing two cards if you do have the Greymon. Yep. It's pretty strong. Then I play Dark Tyranno for the cheap blocker. That's a no-brainer. Yep. Then I play for uh, Tankmon for the cheap Evo. That's mm -hmm. also a no-brainer. And that's yep. it for the champions. Okay. Yep. Pretty, pretty solid. For ultimates, I play one high Andromon. Just the one? Just the one. <laughs> okay. I have to see what your other level fives are. Uh, like, if I had another Metal Greymon, I mm -hmm. wouldn't play it. Oh, okay. But it's just here to fill the space. Mm -hmm. I played two Megadermon from the starter deck that gives blocker. This normally doesn't come up, but it's a nice extra level five. The effect's not the worst to give blocker. Oh, yeah, it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Then I play two Metal Greymon. Mm -hmm. Again, this would be three, but I don't have three. Yep. I'll have to send you one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I played. The best ultimate in black, Gog's my mom. Oh, yeah, that card is insane. Can literally take down ultimate, or not ultimates, megas by himself. It's Digiburst 1 to give one of my Digimon plus 2k until the end of your opponent's turn. So you could Digiburst 3 to make it 13, and then partner that with Final Zugabon Punch. It'll get all the effects and can literally swing over level 7s. Mm -hmm. That's just nuts. Final and Zubadon. the Inheritable 1k on all turns is super strong. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now for ultimates, or not ultimates, megas, I play two Cranium on. Uh, this card is good against yellow red. Mm hmm. That probably came up to... with the. Um, did that ever come up with the Megidramon where it gives blocker? Where one of your other Digimon has blocker and Craniumon prevents it from being destroyed? I've had a uh, Megidramon under my Blastmon. Oh, nice. And my Blastmon just couldn't die. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Two Craniumon, really good against that matchup. It won me a game against Kevin uh, mm -hmm. in the sixth round. Yep. 
the yeah, the winner of the tournament, right? That was your only loss, right, to uh, KVN? Kevin, Kevin Lester. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so two Crania, two High Anhermon for the cheap Evo, and it's 12K, so it'll get you to final Zuko on Punch. Uh, yeah, it's 13K with the um, Gogmon. Or like Kapurimon, so it's Plus really easy Mikichimon. to get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then two Black War Greymon to help push for game. Okay, how was that card today or yesterday? This came up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like, there are many times where I had a really good stack of Gogmamon plus uh, Gogmamon plus uh, like the reboot mm -hmm. uh, Kapurimon. Yep. And I had the Toy on under there. So I mm -hmm. had like a really good stack. And then I partnered that with Final Zuko Bomb Punch to give it two swings every time it swung. Yeah, that's pretty strong. So then it would essentially go for two, unsuspend it, then go for another two, mm -hmm. unsuspend it, and then go for the last security. Yeah, that's pretty strong. So this deck just runs through security really easily. Mm -hmm. Then I play and two blast on as my last uh megas did you like that card how was that this card? card is really good mm -hmm. it's really good your opponent can always choose to block but if they do block they're just losing board advantage and then you can yeah. partner that with chaos mod to out two bodies yeah it's that's true so do you only final well, zubagon punch when they have no bodies on board with your blast mod? sometimes mm -hmm. final zubagon punch could give them more of an incentive to block Mm -hmm. But when they do block, you could just go in a oh, chaos, chaos mon mon after the final the Zuko bomb punch still. and then go for another one. Yep, mm -hmm. another two checks. Yep. Omegas and then three chaos mon. Okay. Yep. Chaos mon is pretty strong. The card's nuts. Mm -hmm. And then playing three of them, you see this card in security a lot, which is mm -hmm. good when you're playing against like Wargrave. Yeah, you all your you have a lot of big bodies, so I assume Wargrave just doesn't survive against your security much. Yeah, you have eight, eleven total things that'll just destroy Wargrave on if it attacks security. Mm -hmm. and then for option cards, I played two Final Zuko Bomb Punch. Okay, yeah, you want to explain what this card does? Yeah, a bunch of people did not know what this is, so there was a lot of explaining going on. So on main, one of your one of your Digimon gets plus three thousand until the end of your opponent's next turn, mm -hmm. and then if it has sixteen k DP or more, it gets blocker, reboot, and security attack plus one. Yeah, that's just nuts. <laughs> for mm -hmm. two, for two and memory. I think playing two of this card was fine mm -hmm. because there's some decent draw power in this deck. And also off security, it just goes to your hand. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see at least one per game. Mm -hmm. And then playing three of these would be bricky, yeah. which is what I used to do. And then I decided to cut down on non on non Digimon to mm -hmm. put some more in. Yeah, you probably never want to see two Zubagon punches in your hand at a certain point in time. So yeah, it makes sense to just uh, play two. Yeah. And then for my final cards are Izzy. Okay. Too easy. Yep. That's I think that's probably Black's best off or memory tamer right now. Over mm -hmm. what was the previous one? Matt? Was it Matt? I think Ty. Ty? Yeah, Ty. Yeah. You can do plays until you get to zero memory per se. Mm -hmm. And to end your turn you can Izzy give them four. And if they're all black, you just give them three. Essentially playing this tamer and still choking them. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. three cost memory tamer essentially, and you stack your deck. That's just nuts. Yep. Yep. And that's it. All right, sweet. Um, thanks for the deck profile, Alex. Um, is there any final words that you want to say before we close out? Uh, thank you, Guy Force Gaming. Yep. And yep. That's it. <laughs> thank you, Guy Force <laughs> Gaming. <laughs> Yo. So yeah, shout out to them. Um. Shout out to Limit Break. Um, and then, yeah, I guess that's it for this deck profile. If you guys want to see more decks, let me know. Leave a comment down below. You also topped at the Gyro, or you got sixth place at the Gyro Sean event with this deck too, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to let the, you know, the people know that are watching. This deck's actually consistent. So, um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this deck profile, leave a comment down below. And, yeah, other than that, we're out. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.